Hi everybody, today I'm going to review the Chow Tech Portable Power Bank. This one is at a 10,400 milliamp hour capacity. Now the reason I got this is because one, the form factor is awesome. I, I really like this size of form factor. Plus it had really good specs and features. So for example, it had Qualcomm Quick Charge version three, and also it had auto detect technology, whatever that means, which means that it's fully compatible with all the other um, cell phones, for example, iPhones and, and others. So we talked about the capacity. Uh, the battery type is uh, 18650. So potentially when this thing, uh, the batteries exhaust themselves, you can replace them. It's obviously you would have to know how to solder it, etc. What makes this one special is that it has the Qualcomm output here, USB. It has the USB, which is rated at one amp. I wish it was rated at two amp, but that's fine. As long as this one is capable of quick charging. But the other very interesting uh, thing that it has is that it has two inputs, one for micro USB and another one for a lightning connector, which is the uh, iPhone power cable connector. So that was the reason I thought that it's pretty versatile and the price was right. It does seem to hold whatever capacity it claims to be, which I would say it's at, at about 8,000 milliamp power equivalent to a phone capacity because obviously there's some energy loss between the conversion and charging plus when they're talking about 10,000 milliamp hour they're talking about at 5 volt output and phones are at lower voltage I brought it also a scale here so I could measure the weight and give you a comparison so for example my favorite OK charger was a, which I've had for at least two years weighs at 286 grams this one is a aluminum shell this one is all plastic and this one weighs at 255 which I would say that the difference is in the outer materials now I did find a very big minus with this charger is that you can't connect it to a charger and have it working to charge your phone. So I'll get, I'll show you an example. Also, by the way, it comes with this short cable, which is a, I believe is a three footer or a one footer. Looks like a one and a half actually. Anyway. So if we connect this to be charged using the micro USB, as you can see, it's now charging. If I connect this one to charge my phone. So if I connect this one to charge my phone, so, so one, you can see it's not charging at this point. And if I turn it on, in fact, you can't, that's the problem. You can't, once it's connected, there's no way to charge your phone with this device which is a major issue because you can do a pass-through type charging meaning say you go on a trip and you just want to be able to with one wall output to connect to the charger and then to connect your phone to the battery this way when when the wall charger tops this one off it will just continue topping your phone it's impossible with this type of power bank. So for that reason, if that's a major issue for you, I wouldn't recommend it. But if that's not an issue for you, I think it's a good product because of all the features that I mentioned. So I will link this product in the description. I still think that the Oki charger is the better product. Let me show you how it works with the Oki. So um, I'll connect the input through here. And you can see that it's now charging and I'll connect the output to my phone. And as you can see, I can turn it on and tell it to charge while it's still connected to the power. So as soon as this thing, I believe right now it's charging both of them. So that's what I mean in a pass through type situation. So that's why this is my favorite, favorite 
portable, tiny, and high capacity battery pack. So I will link both of them in the description. There is a price difference. I think this one is cheaper, but again, this one has the added benefit of being able to use a uh, lightning cable. So if you have an iPhone, this could be a better choice besides the pass-through issue. All right, so if you enjoyed this video, please, please, what? Thumb up, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Till next time, bye.